Hi there, I hope you're having a really good day so far. So basically today I wanted a video, an art shopping haul. So basically last week I placed an order at my favourite art shop, thought I'd just film some of the bits and bobs that I've bought. Some things are things that I buy on a regular basis, other things are things I've never tried before so currently all these things are still sitting in their packaging and I've not seen them yet so we'll have a look together. So the four, the first, the first, wait, ugh. So the first thing I bought was a palette. This is a paper palette which you tear off the sheets. It's basically like that and when you use it um, then you can just like rip it off and get a new sheet. I really like using the paper palettes for acrylic. These are really good if you don't have an art studio or a place where you can get messy basically. You can just rip off the paint and throw it in the bin. So this one is by Loxley although I don't have a certain recommendation. In fact with the tear off palettes, I would just say the cheapest brand because you're just going to put paint on it and put it in the bin. So this is the second item and this is oil painting paper. I don't know if you know this, you probably do, but you can't put oil paint on a normal piece of paper because the chemicals will like eat into it and it will just disintegrate or something like that. I don't quite know, but this is fantastic because Obviously you don't always want to use a canvas because you don't want to waste it or you just got like an idea you just want to try out and these are perfect for that and this is by Dollar Rowney and the Georgian range and yeah it's just called oil painting paper I think this has like 12 sheets in. I'll do a close up so you can see what the kind of paper is like but again these just rip off at the seam. So I've done quite a few sketches on these, um, I think I did a few of my recent stag paintings in oil that were on paper on paper similar to this. I would definitely recommend this if you want to try oils but you don't want to use canvases because you don't want to waste a canvas or etc. Okay so the next item is a little bit of a mundane one but it is titanium white paint. This is acrylic and this is by Windsor & Newton Gallery Range which is one that I really really like. If you're an artist you'll know as well that you just go through so much white paint. I would really recommend getting that paint if you like acrylic paint. So this is for oil painting. This is drying linseed oil which is really really good. I actually used this a couple of years ago and I used it all up and I never could find it anywhere so I'm really really pleased that I managed to get hold of some more. Uh, again this is by Windsor & Newton, it's basically like a medium that you add to the paint. It's a really fast drying oil so if you don't want to use liquid, I actually bought some liquid so I'll show you that in a minute. Liquid is more of a gel and this is like, as you can see, it's like completely fluid. This is really good if you don't really like the texture of liquid. Um, and you mix it a little bit with turpentine. Wouldn't really use this on the first couple of layers of my oil painting, but on the later stages then I probably would. Yeah, that's really good if you're an oil painter. Oh yeah, the next item is one I have actually opened, so I'm sorry to disappoint guys. I was desperate and I was on a commission and I really needed it. And my other bottle was completely dried up and that is Liquid Original. So this is just what I was talking about a second ago and this consistency is a lot more gel-like and it doesn't flow as easy but it is actually really really nice to use once you add it to oil paint. Oil paint is obviously quite stiff and this just makes it a lot more smooth. Again I use this for the later layers of a painting and especially when I'm signing a painting and even doing the sides because if I am say doing a commission and it needs to be ready by a certain date then I will use this for the sides because this makes the paint dry basically in about 24 hours which for oil paint is really really good. That's fantastic for if you need your oil paint to dry super quick. The next thing I bought is a little bit boring and it's a stapler. I have a regular stapler but I needed one for a canvas. Can you use this for canvases actually? It says heavy duty so oh, it says repairing chairs which are usually made of wood so yeah. I think this will be okay. The next thing I bought is paint, which is always exciting. And um, this colour is Deep Turquoise, which is beautiful. And again, this is Windsor & Newton Galleria, which I really like for acrylic paint. I'll try and get a close-up shot to show you the colour. But it is basically just turquoise and really, really pretty and perfect for seascapes, which is what I am currently working on. Again, we have more paint. This is um, by Kryler, which is Artist Acrylic 
heavy body, which is the reason why I really like this Kryla range. Most acrylic paint is quite sloppy, and when you put it on the palette, it kind of like spreads a little bit. Whereas this is a bit more like oil paint in the fact that it holds very well. I don't know whether you can see that. It's a bit more like butter, I suppose, um, and that's why I really like this. So this is just a grey colour on the range that I'm working on at the minute, which is like the seascapes behind me. And a lot of grey is like heavily featured and this is why I bought this grey. Normally I would mix my own greys using complementary colours, but this is great for especially like the earlier layers when you just want a quick grey and you're not too, you know, you just want to get your idea onto a piece of canvas basically. Yeah, that is this paint and again, Kryla, I really really love their paints. So next is a brush. I am, um, I'm not too bad at cleaning brushes and looking after them but I've been a little bit lazy recently but that's only because the brushes that I have at the minute are very old and got so much oil paint just like caked in um, so these aren't much, I think this was about £10 so obviously I only bought one, I didn't buy like a whole set or anything because £10 is a lot of money um, but this is a Windsor & Newton and this is the Winter range uh, w no wait, <laughs> not Winter, Winton, Winton although it is Winter as well and this shape is filbert and this is in a size 10 so it's quite big as you can see and it's really nice for definitely first layers but sometimes I would use this to do the whole painting in and maybe with a palette knife as well or something like that and it also matches my nail varnish which is even cooler so this is more titanium white but this is oil paint and this is Winsor & Newton Winton oil colour which I do have artists oil colour as well but to be honest I find that these are pretty like just as good you know so yeah the titanium white and I always get a 200ml version because we go through a lot of white so I'm going to put that back away again because I've still got a bit left in my old tube finally I have a new sap green so basically this is probably my favourite colour I think sap green although it looks a little bit boring on the outside when you use it, it's quite translucent and it just, it's got such a lovely depth to it. And so that's what makes this my favourite colour. Um, again, this is the Winton range and that's why I got a big one too, because I like this colour. Um, but I've been using my old sap green for probably about three years and there's nothing left in it. Like, I've squeezed every last bit of paint out of that tube and I was just so desperate for a new one. Finally, yes, I have a sap green. You can go straight in my oil painting basket. This next item is very noisy and it is something that I've put off buying for like three years, mainly because it was £25 and I didn't even know if I would use it or need it. And this time when I was making the order, you know, I put it in my basket and taken it out so many times and I was like, you know what, stuff it, I'm just going to buy it because it could be the best thing I've ever bought. Drum roll please. Do, 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 do. Actually that is huge. <laughs> I, was, I thought it was going to be about half the size of that. No wonder it was flipping £25. If you're not already guessed what it is, it is a brush cleaner. I'll quickly explain for you, those of you that don't do oil painting. You have like a little jar where you keep your turpentine to clean your brush. But as you wash the paint off, particles of paint like just, you know, drops to the bottom. And you just have a layer of sediment. And if you use the same jar for like a long time, it can just be really grungy and grey. And you don't want to put your brush in because like if you touch it, then you get loads of muddy old paint on your brush. I have been really needing one of these for years actually and now I've got it, I think I'll really enjoy using it and there's probably things that I can do a lot quicker now. So basically you pop in your paintbrush, so it's a paintbrush holder but because of the little holes at the bottom you can sort of like drag your brush along the bottom and it will clean it and all the sediment will go underneath. That is like my luxury item. <laughs> Exciting stuff! So my next item is going to really confuse you. This is it. I know it doesn't look like much. 
This is foam board, which I have talked about in a few videos before. Basically like um, foam with a bit of card on either side and it's really sturdy. I'm going to let you into a little secret now. I use foam board for a number of things. The main one being a background. So I use this as a background for lots of flat lays. Being an artist, you're very messy and all my desks are just covered in mess basically. So I can't film on them because it looks gross. So this is perfect for filming. For example, I filmed my recent painting tutorial for the ocean. That was filmed with this as a background. I'll just put my canvas there, my paints there and the camera like above it. But I know people that have done all sorts with these. You can poke holes in and put fairy lights through or you can get, you know like that marble, like sticky back plastic. You know when you peel off the sticky bit and you just lay it down. So you can put marble on it like a marble in effect and you can use that for flat lays and it's just like really really versatile. The other thing that I use it for is packaging things so like if I have a little watercolour for example and I don't want it to like get bent instead of using card because card is really heavy and it does bend anyway like quite easily I'll cut off like something the same size and put the watercolour on it to ship it and it's really really light so it doesn't add anything to the postage and yeah that's a really good hack artist hack. The only thing left is canvases and I've bought quite a lot so I'm not going to go through all of them obviously. I will show you just like a couple just to show you what I use. I wanted to show you these which I bought. I bought an array of sizes and shapes. This is a canvas board. It's shiny because it's got plastic on it. Um, so this is by Loxley once again. These all come primed as well so you don't need to worry about that if you're using oil paint and these are perfect for because they're thin and it's on cardboard so these are really good if you sell your work because with a, with a normal canvas on a wooden frame it can be quite difficult to ship sometimes you need a lot of bubble wrap and a lot of protection on it whereas these because it's on like really thick cardboard obviously you still need to protect it but it's already very strong so these are really good if you ship your paintings like across the world and also people can just pop them in a frame like a normal frame you don't need to get a special floating frame or anything like that for that reason i think canvas boards are fantastic and also storage is really good it's basically a piece of paper you know this is an example of a canvas i use sorry about the light reflecting it's like quite dark outside right now in england because it's about half five so i've got like a daylight bulb which is blinding me right now um, this is again Loxley Gold Standard Stretched Artist Canvas Medium Grain Suitable for Acrylic, Oil and Other Mediums Triple Primed I don't know what else I can say about that I know that a lot of you will ask where I get my art supplies from which is no good because I get them from a local art store and it's not a big chain it's not like a um, Blick or anything like that but these are things that you can buy from anywhere and I think it's always better to support your local companies if you can. So that is everything that I bought in the art haul and I hope you enjoyed that video. A little sneak peek into some of the stuff I use. If you're not already make sure you follow me on social media, I'll pop in the links just there and in the description box. So thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you soon. Bye!